<laughs> That's a beautiful weld. Oh my goodness. All right, so <laughs> I got a nice breed, but not on the uh, actual. Ricky. <laughs> I, I, I saw my. I saw my glove smoking or something, so I was like freaking out a little bit. So let me grab another fuel rod. <laughs> <laughs> that was a full-on rookie mistake right there, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. Man. That was funny. That's a beautiful weld, too. Too bad it's up on the side. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <sighs> oh, no. You suck again. Oh, no. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back to I Want to Do That. And on today's episode, we're going to be covering the Yes Welder MP200 lift TIG function. And we're going to cover setup, startup, and demonstration. Hang tight and we'll be right with you. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to cover the setup. And what you're going to need is you're going to need a full bottle of argon. It's it's 99% argon. You can't really see it on the sticker, but 99. Don't get the, don't get the 75 argon, 25 CO2. That's not going to work. That's for me. So, 99% argon. You're going to need a regulator. You can get this at uh, Welding Supply, or I believe you can even get one on Amazon cheaper. And then, so what came with mine is your welder, the leads. And a consumable pack, I ordered extra. If when you order this from the Yes Builder website, I'm not sure exactly what all tips and cups you're gonna get. But when I ordered a consumable pack, this is what I got. As far as the cups, cup numbers and all that, you can find good tutorials on YouTube. And this is, I'm a beginner TIG, TIG welder, so this is really my first TIG function. And so you're gonna need consumables. You're gonna need filler rods for whatever, uh, for steel or stainless. We're working with mild steel today. So I got filler rods for that. And the one thing that we thought might've came with the welder are the actual tungsten electrodes. So you're gonna have to get this. We have a 1 and we have 330 seconds for a little thicker metal obviously safety gear welding helmet gloves a jacket and then something to weld with all right so come over here and like i say you need argon you're going to hook you're going to hook this hose to the regulator this is the hose that's provided with the gun you're going to come over here and you're going to make sure your bus bar is on the negative to positive. And then over here, you want to make sure that your TIG is on the negative, which is one, two, three over from your left. pops in just like that and then your ground goes onto the positive so that's two spaces over and that's it for setup and so as far as startup goes we have plug in the machine you want to turn your your gas on We're gonna set our regular regulator from 15 to 20. And in order to do that, you have to turn the, in order to do that, you have to turn the gun on. And so we're gonna, we're gonna go right at, right at 20, cause I like the little bit more gas flow. And then this is your, this is your gun, your cup, your electrode, and your gas control. And one thing I have to say is don't forget to turn your gas on. Otherwise, you're gonna burn up your, your cup and you're gonna burn up the whatever you're trying to weld from experience, I know. And you're gonna burn up your electrode. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. There's your power button. 
you're going to get a welcome screen and if it's already on live tig if it's not it said it's on uh let's say it's on that all you have to do is hit the home screen and scroll over until you hit lift tig and then press it in and select and then lift tig doesn't have a lot of options for you so you can select your amperage and that's about it so you have to use the guide or use uh i think miller has a good website on amperage on amperage as far as your thicknesses of metals goes and your electro tips that's it as far as the startup goes and another tip that i want you to uh be aware of is is don't set your gun down on the on wherever the ground rod is or the uh, ground clamp is your ground clamp because it will arc so that's just a tip coming from experience so just find you something to hang it on that's not uh, conductive so we're going to get set up for demonstration we're going to weld we're going to weld this a uh, couple sides of this cube out and you want to have clean metal on tig if you have dirty metal forget about it it won't work and we're going to demonstrate a couple of uh let's see if we can't get a couple joints out of this i don't know all right hang tight all right so here we go with the demonstration and remember that I am a total beginner TIG, so my welds may be ugly. Uh, the whole purpose of this is to see if the ES Welder MP200 will, in fact, TIG. So don't forget to have a clean piece of work. I ground this and I actually cleaned it. And turn your gas on and have your filler rod. And one more tip is to have your electrode sharpened. To a nice sharp point do that on the grounder you can find uh, multiple tutorials on how to do that as well so i'm turning my gas on flip my helmet down and we're going to start uh starting arc so on this lift tape you got to arc it you got to touch it to the metal and lift it up Oh, here's my demonstration. So I would say yes, in fact, the Yes Welder MP200 can TIG. Another good clean edge. Like that. Let's see if I can. Can he do it again? Can I do it again? I am running a 1 16th on this and a number six cup, 14 gauge steel that uh, one of our welding cubes that we cut out on the plasma. So let's see if I can do it again. Oh, that's in. Okay. So. Okay, so what I have to learn is how to how to feed my filler rod because. As you can see right here, 
as you can see right here my filly rod was getting too close and I so I had to stop welding and that's where I had to restart so I had a decent bead here got sloppy and it started to just kind of escalate from there and then at the end I waited too long and so it blew it out a little bit but as far as welding goes the yes welder mp200 can tick weld all right so 14 gauge can weld i'm going to swap out to a 330 seconds setup and we're going to try it out on the 1 8 inch plate all right. all right so i've got the eighth inch setup and i'm going to do a couple spots spot welds to tack it in place and then we'll go with the filler rod Not for a spot. If it's not burning in, you might need to turn your heat up. Mm, I think we're good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop there to touch my filler rod to my electrode, so I'm gonna have to regrind that. But I do have a sloppy, a sloppy bead, but I do have good heat penetration, maybe a little too much. And on the back side, uh, probably could use it could use something. I'm not seeing a. a a fill in the in between the two joints so let me regrind that and we'll give it a try again all right so i got my tip sharpened on the grinder and we'll give it a try again we're going to start we're just going to start kind of where i left off and i won't forget to turn my gas on this time <laughs> That's a beautiful weld. Oh my goodness. Alright, so <laughs> I got a nice breed, but not on the uh, actual rookie. <laughs> I, I, I saw my I saw my glove smoking or something, so I was like freaking out a little bit. So let me grab another filler rod. Right hey, it's funny. That's a beautiful weld too. Too bad it's up on the side. Oh yeah, look at that. Ah. Oh no, you suck again. Oh no. Oh. You got it still on. <laughs> All right, I see it. Ah. Oh. Three times. So, okay. All right, 
that's that's pretty much as far as I'm going to go with that demonstration. Went back over where I messed up here, and uh, you know, obviously, it gave me a little bit more heat register on that, but it filled in really good. And I can imagine with the uh, in the hands of an expert, you can pretty get some good uh, good beads with this. But again, good heat penetration. And here's the back side. And that's it for the TIG function of the MP200. Okay, so they covered the TIG function of the MP200 from Yes Welder. And I can't say it, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I think we have a lot of cool projects coming up that we can use this welder on. I mean, the cut just everything but as far as the tick goes i'm excited about that even just learning it and as the price of this machine it was you know it was within my budget you know besides the accessories and all that it added a little bit more but be sure to hit that uh, like button subscribe and notification bell and we'll see y'all next time